If, if, if the playoff started now, no Clemson is what Paul is saying. Answer me this question right here. Answer me this really. Has Clemson lost a game this year? No. Have they lost one last year? No. So what do they say in Coach Carter? We're the champs till we're not the champs no more, baby. That's where Clemson is right now. You're saying the competition you play isn't good enough. Alabama's best win is Duke. With no Daniel Jones. With no Daniel Jones, all right? So, you know, we get this, and that's the issue. When you look at it on the scope of things, Clemson gets penalized for playing in this particular conference. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that this is Asgard and I'm the gatekeeper of the ACC, yeah. but Clemson plays well enough. They perform, they win games, and when the smoke clears, they're always there. But, but well, Thor doesn't look the same anymore if this is Asgard. You know, the <laughs> like, you know, the, the uh, fact of the matter is the difference between this year and last year yeah. is Trevor Lawrence... Dabble can say whatever he wants. Trevor Lawrence doesn't physically look right. Like, what else could explain the way he's, you know, considering the standard he set last year? And then you lost some size up front, and it's a kind of different, kind of not as intimidating defensive front. Well, that's what's exciting about this team, the maturation of it, all right? So last year, Trevor Lawrence was a contributor. This team was Cleveland Farrells. It was Dexter Lawrence. It was Hunter Renfro. Trevor tried to fill in, figure out his, his role in this particular team and lead that way. This year is different because this is his team. He's carrying all of that burden and something that he didn't put on himself. All right, he never asked to be rated the greatest college football player of all time. All that kid wants to do is come to work, man, do what he needs to do, get better week by week and progress that way. And people won't allow him to do that. So you know what time it is when it's all said and done, Clemson will be on top well, of the national well, championship well, this year. Well, 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 let me interject. First of all, I don't agree with Paul Feinbaum, and I've been on the record stating that when I interviewed him on my radio show. I believe the reigning defending national champions, if you're undefeated, I don't give a damn. You right. should have a chance to defend your crown. No doubt. Somebody knocks you off, otherwise you the champion. Yeah. Having said all of that, here's what I don't like about what you just said. You just pointed out how Trevor Lawrence comes on the field, takes the nation by storm, and, build, and pretty much establishes himself as one of the great ones we're witnessing before sure. our very eyes. Yet, when he doesn't look great, compared to what he did look like, you're saying it's not fair to heap that on the shoulders. Didn't you want us to acknowledge him when he was great? Absolutely. I'm not but here. then what are we supposed to do? I'm Ignore him when he's not? And I, I like to say it like this. Right, right now, Trevor isn't playing up to his capability. Right. And that's the issue. Why is it's that? Like, and it's like uh, if you're a kid, right? Say you had a kid and he was getting to be in the classroom. But you know he was capable, but hey, you yeah. wouldn't be dissatisfied or discouraged. You would just be trying to figure out how to make sure that he's playing up to his level. Of you would encourage exactly. him, but you would still be dissatisfied. But, but yeah. why? Why isn't he playing up to his level this year? Do you think it's the pressure everyone put on him last year? I think that's part of it. But, I mean, again, he's trying to figure out how to handle all of this at the same time. The kid is, look, the kid can throw the football with the best of them. Yeah. In college and in the NFL right now. When we're talking about this burden on a day-to-day, -day, walking for, to the classroom, taking pictures at the grocery store, the gas station, that's what, you, that's what you ask for when you play this game, but that's a different phase when you're talking about handling it on a day-to-day. -day wait too. a minute. I, look, I, the reason I don't buy that, I mean, I understand it makes sense, yeah. but I don't buy it as it relates to Trevor right now, is last year, as a freshman, he looked like by so far the best guy. And then in the championship game, did to Alabama what I've never seen done on a stage like that. By the way, as great as Deshaun Watson is, Deshaun Watson needed to pull a rabbit out the hat to beat Alabama. Trevor picked them apart, and now all of a sudden this against that Bama defense. To me, that says when people are like, is he hurt? And Dabble's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I think something like that makes more sense to me. And it may. And again, when you're talking about the transformation of this particular team, we're sitting here at week five. We're going to talk about some of these games later on. You're going to say, well, who's in the playoff right now? Nobody knows. Nobody's played anybody. Well, obviously, now, we're, we're literally be halfway through right now. Right. Yeah. So when week eight, nine rolls around, come back to me. We'll have this conversation. And Clemson okay. will for sure look what like the number one team in college football. What about the close win to UNC? That didn't scare you at all? No. I mean, it looked close in the Georgia-Tennessee game, first off, and early on. But UNC has a, a group of players who can play at a high level, too, that nobody's putting into account for. So this Clemson team is continuously, like I said, growing week by week. But nobody wants to let them do that. Nobody wants them yeah, to yeah, grow but, into their but, own. But I have to say... My issue with what you're saying is you act like in college football you're entitled to grow. The reality is is that you got Burroughs at LSU, you got Fields at Ohio State, right. you got Alabama, okay, you got Georgia. What I'm saying is you're reigning defending national champion. I do believe that you should have an opportunity to defend your crown. I don't care what anybody says. If you're undefeated, you should be in the top four. The flip side to it, however, is because it's college football, 
and everybody doesn't get a chance to play one another. What about those other teams who are considered great, who would probably be playoff teams, who folks are looking at and saying, excuse me, they might be a little bit better than Clemson. What do you say to that? I don't think so. You look at the LSU, they gave up 38 points to two teams, Vanderbilt and uh, you know, one other team out right. there. All right. So you look, at, you look at Clemson right now, right? Texas. <laughs> Whoever that is. I yeah, 38 to Texas. And I don't know how good any of these teams right. are. We talk about Georgia and the Notre Dame victory. I don't know how good Notre Dame is. To me, it just looked like there wasn't a lot of uh, a firepower out there. So when you look at this, this group of players, specifically at Clemson, you know what they're capable of. You know what T. Higgins is capable of. You know what Travis Etienne is capable of. You know what Justin Ross is capable of. And we all know what Trevor Lawrence is capable of. So right now they're ticking time bomb, just climbing up the ladder. Tick, tick, I mean, tick. I agree with that. Goals, I agree you know with that, actually, like. actually, especially as it relates to Trevor Lawrence. I don't care who you are. You do what he did as a freshman. Right. I'm not trying to hear that that dude is not the best and is not great and is not going to show that at some point this season. Right. How, how I think I've, just, I've just never heard those expectations put on to a guy after his first season. Now, you might have that conversation after he graduates and say, hey, looking back on it, this guy is, is one of the great ones of all time. Well, I think he's being compared to, you know, the era. Obviously, in your era, when you was there, what was it, 2011, 12, 13, yeah. people, look at you, people look at you differently. I think when Tua burst onto the scene right. and did what he did coming in the second half of a national championship game, delivering the national championship for Alabama, immediately expectations were heaped on him. So then you've got Trevor Lawrence. He's ultimately inserted in the middle of the season just like, uh, to, you know, not just like Tua, but to some degree comparable in that regard. And people are looking at what he did and won a national championship and now the expectation. I think it's very fair. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.